Hello, this is Gene. I want to talk about what um, Michelle Obama said at one of their little get-togethers that they get uh, to talk about. Um, I don't know what the background of these get-togethers are, but clearly there was probably 90% of the people in the audience were female, and she was doing what she normally does. She always likes to talk in a passive-aggressive uh, tone and to let everybody try to figure out what she was talking about. But she said some things yesterday that are just don't really make any sense and don't really jive with reality. And I want to talk about a couple of them and why I'm here and why I'm talking about them. The one that's actually been all over the internet is what she said about um, how boys um, are being loved and nurtured and that they have some sort of an entitlement and some sort of, uh, let me read her actual quote here. This is from, uh, I'll show you the uh, quote here so you can see it, because I'm going to try to say it, but, you know, I can't talk very well, so when I, I can't look at it stuff. We are protecting our men too much so that they feel a little entitled and a little self-righteous. Now, as with everything, you have to look at the, the entire context, and I'm going to give her um, the benefit of the doubt by looking through what she said. And I'm thinking... Who is she talking about here? Is in the black community are young African boys entitled to anything? And why would they why would they be self righteous? I think this has an undertone of racism here. I think she's talking about white boys uh, that she's seen probably through her travels because, of course, and she talks about this later in the video then also uh, in the transcript, that she's raising girls. So obviously she'd seen this phenomenon probably from her white liberal friends and how they treat their sons uh, in regard and how, the, how, it, how it looks when they cha treat their, da their daughters. So I'm going to say part of what she had to say is true because the culture has trained so much the last 30 or 40 years that we are trying to make sure that women are just held up and empowered and all that stuff. So later on she talks about how we nurture and love our boys and girls we raise because they have to be strong and sturdy and all that stuff because the world is just is could be dangerous for, for females. But in the black community, when she talks about entitlement and self-righteousness, is she talking about young black uh, boys who have to live with single mothers that are living off the state? Some of them don't even know who their father ours is. Now, what got me upset about this is because she she goes back and forth. Is she's talking about white guys, white boys, saying that they've got this privilege and entitlement that everything's just given to them because they're they're boys because that doesn't happen in the black community so she's got to be talking about white people there but the other side is that she talks about mothers are the ones it's their fault because they nurture their boys and then raise their daughters so is she saying that um if there was fathers in the home would that really be an issue for the girls then? Because it is my belief that with uh, in marriage and you have ba uh, kids, the father has this kind of kinship uh, with the daughters more than the, the the boys, and the mothers are the with the boys. That she and everything she talks about is how naturally women um, re regard their sons. They are more nurturing to them. I'm not saying they love them more, but there's there's a special relationship that a mother has with the son, and the father has the same thing with the daughter. So it's like she doesn't everywhere, anything that she talked about, she doesn't talk about the dynamic of the fathers in the home. She doesn't even bring it up. So if there's an issue that we're not we're not raising our boys the right way, that we protect them too much, and we basically say everything's going to be given to you, and but you don't say anything. Well, 
if the fathers were there, they would probably stop that. The truth is, she's talking about both communities at the same time. The white side, she's saying you've basically in, entitled and now you're self-righteous. Clearly, she's talking about the, the white community here. The other side is the black community. There's no fathers. So she's going to talk about that and what the, the devastating impact it's been in the black community. And it's also starting to really impact the, the white community as well. So it just, it just felt wrong. And what she's trying, but all this stuff she does, it's all passive aggressive. But all the time there's this undertones of it. I mean, this is the same woman that said she was never proud of this country until her husband was elected. You don't talk about snobbery, snobbery. I mean, again, how, do, how she could even know what goes on in the black community other than somebody come up and tell her. I mean, she's an elite person. She went to Ivy, uh, Ivy universities. He went to Harvard and Princeton and her husband went to Columbia and, and uh, Yale or whatever. So she, I think that her family or her friends are just white liberals, and this is what she'd seen. And she said, this is how we deal with our boys. And maybe at that level, maybe there's a little bit of uh, entitlement because you're the boy and you're going to carry that name going forward. I mean, that's been that way forever. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Um, and mothers know this. What, there's, so, there's so much, it's so much worse than this, though. It's more insidious. Because she's basically saying that women need to change how they, they nurture their boys. That we, you shouldn't love them the same way. Or are we just going to make boys to be uh, basically responsible for everybody? And I think that's kind of that same thing. So I still, there's an under, undercurrent of feminism there. And almost like the he for she thing coming through there. And I don't like to be paranoid, but I think that's all what that is. She's basically saying that boys have to stand up, step up. Because... Mothers, for some reason, have been protecting them and nurturing them, though so they need to step up and say, I don't need this entitlement. I'm going to make sure that women are doing well because in the rest of the world, it's so dangerous for females. So, of course, anybody with a Google just doing a search will say victims of assaults, victim of murder, victim of even of rape. Men are predominantly the victims of this. Of course, we have no funding for that. We don't have a Violence Against Women's Act. Uh, it's just strange that all this stuff has gone on in the last 30 or 40 years that we were taught this, this idea that girls had been falling behind because they weren't in the same industry where men were. So we changed all that. And again, these were normally 100 or 80% or 90% male leaders, uh, lawmakers that did this stuff. And we changed everything. And now it's gone so far to the other side that guys are falling behind way too much. And in this society, we can allow women, especially in the education areas, to fall backwards. It doesn't really anything, doesn't do anything detrimental to society. But if you do that for men, because we've always been the risk takers, the ingenuity, our ingenuity has, you know, all the different inventions that men have done. If you just don't support and love and nurture your boys, the boys are not going to grow up to be men. That is why they've always been that relationship between the mother and the, the boy. You love them, you nurture them, you have, and you, you support them because in the real world, Obama, not living, don't live in a, in a government job for 30 years. You don't understand what the real world is. Men rule the United States. With us, us not being there doing it, uh, it's a bad day for all of us. Nobody here on this channel is going to say there should be equality if you do the right thing. But we sh you should not get a foot up. And we need to be clear about this. Women have got a huge foot up in the last 30 or 40 years. And before that, if you're a, on, the, on the left side, you think, oh, that's not enough. And you keep going further and further. And you, then you start invading male spaces. And we just saw that recently with the Cub Styles is going to put girls in there. Everything that men have have been invaded by women based on the idea of equality. At some point, guys are going to be upset about that. I don't want to go into that right now in this video, but it's all related. So, again, I would watch her video. It seems so, you know, innocuous. But there's something there, and this is the same woman, like I said. She, never, she didn't like this country until her husband was president. Talk about how she's so snobbish. 
And the idea, I think, is she thought, I think she thought she could be this way because she thinks she's smarter than everybody in the room. Her husband thinks the same way. And she doesn't think that a layman like myself could see what she's talking about. Three or four or five years ago, I would have probably said the same thing, even though I, f I voted for her, f her husband. And I thought she was an okay person. She was the same time that you thought, you know, black and or red and white and every, we're all together in the United States. No, she, she believes there's a privilege in this country. And she believes it's, it's uh, for white uh, boys that have this privilege. Um, so just watch that. Let me know if I'm off. Uh, if I'm off, just let me know. We can do it in the comments below. You guys have a good weekend. And I'll talk to you later. And who do you got on Saturday? I like TJ. And I like uh, Bisping. And as much as I, I like Rose, I think that... Uh, uh, I can't even say her name. Jujakic <laughs> is probably going to win. Again, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.